Hello again everyone, and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Crash Team Racing Nitro Field on my channel, where today we are doing the part that I have long waited to do. It is of course the Spyro Grand Prix. Now what you'll see right here is this is new title screen during this Grand Prix which is really cool which has never happened during a Grand Prix before and if we keep watching it for a minute you might see that Crash actually does step down and Spyro will appear which is really cool so basically in this part we're going to, going to be doing the same thing as we did before which will be doing the trophy race, the CNK challenge, relic race and of course trying to beat nitrous oxide which I've never done on this track before. <laughs> I know about Crash like falls falls asleep there. But you'll see in a minute that Crash should jump down and replace with Spyro, which he don't seem to be doing. Uh, I don't know why that is, but maybe if I go into the screen right here and a back straight back out, which it won't let me do. I don't understand why that's happened, but <laughs> that did not go to plan. But anyway, I'll show you it right now. I'll just edit that right in. So yeah, that is actually really cool, but that happens. <laughs> I always thought that's a real good touch. But anyway, we're just going to check the pit stop real quick before we begin. And as you can see, I've only got 11 Wumper Coins, which is really bad. Now the Electron Purple is a colour I've been wanting a while, which hasn't appeared yet, so I'm kind of glad that that's jumped in. And my Grand Prix progress so far is sort of like in the middle. Just unlocked the new livery, the new decal. So, of course we've got some daily challenges, which I don't know if there's any for this track which obviously there isn't. I like how it's mostly mirror races, so you don't have to like mess about doing these like, I don't, I don't know, races in battle mode and stupid stuff like that, which I've never been a fan of. But anyway, without further ado, we're going to get right into this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the CTR TV introduction for the Spyro and Friends Grand Prix. So here we go. Live from Activision, this is CTR TV. Hi, I'm Chick. I'm on fire, man! And that is Stu. Now today we've got a very special guest. I hope the drivers are ready because he's sure to make sparks fly. This little head button tail whipping fire spewing purple dragon is gonna light up their day. I'm fired up and ready to go. Uh-huh, that's not all. He's challenged every driver to race him on his own personal track. <laughs> I'm burning with anticipation. Hold up, I'm being told Spyro won't be alone. Let's do this quick. I need to get back to Bianca. Here to defeat Spyro again. Are you feeling the heat? Cause I know I am. I'm feeling it. Oh, uh, now, uh, breaking news, folks. We have an exclusive look at the latest feats of engineering to take to our treacherous tracks. Woo-wee! My passion for racing has been reignited. Well, that sums it up for this edition of CTR TV. Now get out there and burn some rubber. Alright, so that was the introduction to the Grand Prix, which is pretty cool. And I kind of like how Hunter mentioned Bianca. I mean, that makes you think, I wonder if they're going to put that in a future uh, Grand Prix, because I'd love to see more Spiral Grand Prix in the future to add more characters like Alora and Bianca, just like I've said, and probably Ripto and the Sorceress, which I can see happening in the future, so hopefully it will. But anyway, here we go, Spyro Circuit. So obviously we're just going to do normal medium race for this one. So here we go, so what we're going to do is we're going to, so, and this is the setup that I'm using right now, Dark Spyro in the red cart. Now doesn't that look awesome? But what we're going to do is we're going to do our normal race, but we're going to do all of the tracks. So we're going to get the worst character out of the way first, which is of course the turning character, which I'm not a huge fan of anymore. So it of course will be Nasty Nork, Spyro Purple Nasty Nork, Stone Nasty Nork, and we also have Magna Nasty Nork. So I think we're just going to go with a regular Nasty Nork for this one. And as for Cart, I think I'm going to choose the Nasty Nork body again. And I'm going to keep the Nork Swirls. But I'm going to put the, the, uh, the Nasty's Ride Wheels on. And I'm also going to change the paint job to... I don't know that. I don't know. There's so many good colours. 
green gem. Yeah, green gem looks pretty good. I think I'm going to go with that one. And as for stickers, I think I'll just leave that as it is. So anyway, here we go. A race on Spyro Circuit. Which is by far an awesome track. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I've played this track so much. And it is a sick track. There's absolutely no denying that at all. It's just... Beautiful. I mean... There's nothing wrong with this track at all. And obviously we're greeted with the long loading times, which seems pretty much normal for Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, unfortunately. But, I mean, I suppose that can't be helped. <laughs> because that is the way the game is made. Although saying that, the PC version of Reignited has fast loading times. But anyway, here we go. Spyro Circuit. Oh yes, look at that. Magic Crafters. Oh my, I mean, Magic Crafters, as you probably know, it is my favourite homeworld in the entire Spyro trilogy. With second being Autumn Plains, which I'd like to see come next. So anyway, here we go. Spyro Circuit. Now, doesn't this track rock? I mean, look, we have, like, Dark Hollow in here. And you have, like, all the books flying around like it's magic. And, I mean, that's touches that we haven't seen. And, I mean, going through these portals... So now we're obviously into Magic Crafters world, which, once again, my favourite. And I love how they've replaced the gems. I mean, the Wumper Fruit with gems and the item boxes with treasure chests. That is a really nice touch. And also, as you may see with these characters, it's Sparks that actually protects you instead of Aku Aku. I mean, these waterfalls in here. Oh my gosh, this is just a beautiful track. And wow, I'm sucking at this so bad. But I'm going to show you this real quick. I mean, it doesn't matter if I lose. I can always try again. But if you look here, these waterfalls, all of the gems falling down. I did not notice that at first. And obviously dragonflies flying around and stuff like that. I mean, I did not notice all that stuff to begin with. And wow, I'm pretty bad with a turning character because obviously turning characters and, uh, are not the best. Same with balanced characters. I mean, they're a bit better, but... Pretty much the best class you can get in the game is speed class, which I've practiced a lot more. I mean, speed characters are the best because turn isn't really super important in this game, uh, strangely enough. But but yeah, speed class is exactly where it is, followed by acceleration class, which is also pretty good. Because I've used acceleration characters quite a lot, but I wouldn't recommend using balanced or turning. Because balanced characters are not really balanced characters, I mean... The turning is worsened a lot from turning characters, but the acceleration is just, and the speed are increased a little bit more, but not by much, so they're by no means great at all. I say this track's beautiful, but I can't really say too, here we go, here's Sparks. Now, I can't exactly say too much about this, I won't say, I mean... Obviously, I can say quite a lot, but obviously, I know somebody who will say a lot more, uh, which will be, of course, Noelle McDavid, which also does Spyro videos on her channel as well, which I really do recommend to check out her channel. Uh, and hopefully soon, she'll be doing an analysis of the video, because she's teased it on Twitter, so hopefully there'll be an analysis on this track coming very soon over on her channel, which I'm really looking forward to. I mean, I'm not going to lie, this track is just gorgeous. And I think I'm going to win this one, because I didn't expect this to go well. I mean, seriously, Artisans slash, well, Stone Hill, Dark Hollow, and Magic Crafters. That's all I can really ask for. Sort of like High Caves Wizard Peak. Maybe a bit of After Pine Ridge. I don't know, but here we go. Nice. So here we go. First place on Spyro Circuit. For the first time ever on video, which is pretty cool. And here we go. We've got some Nitros. Not the most, because I didn't exactly customise full spec, but, you know, doesn't really matter because this is just really doing the let's play part. So anyway, here we go, we're going to change the track now. Well, we're not going to change the track, we're going to change the game mode, but it's actually quicker to go to change level, because obviously you don't have to back out and go through options as much. So, anyway, here we go, we're going to go for a CTR challenge in Spiral Circuit once again, but this time... I'm going to change the character, and I'm going to go with Hunter, which we have Blue Panther Hunter, which is kind of strange to me. That looks really odd. It's sort of trippy. <laughs> Cotton Candy Hunter. 
And of course Green Tiger Hunter. Now I'm not really a super fan of those so I'm just going to go with Bog Standard Hunter. Anyway, as for carts, we're going to go for something different. I think I'm going to go for the Dragonfly cart because it seems to suit Hunter really well. And wow, I mean, of course, I'm going to put the waves and twirls on. But we also have other liveries as well, such as Two Tone, Paint Splash, Salamander, and of course, Glittering Sparks. So that's what we're going to go for that one. As for wheels, I'm going to put the Dragonfly wheels on as well because, I mean, why not go all Dragonfly? And I think I'm going to go for, in paint colour, is there a dragonfly paint colour? No, I think I'm going to go for... That white gem looks pretty good, so I'm going to go for that. And of course, stickers. We of course had the red, green and blue gem. So I might put the blue gem on this one because it suits it quite well. So anyway, here we go with the CTR challenge, which should hopefully go a lot better. I don't know why that is, but sometimes the character like seems to rotate itself for no apparent reason. I mean, don't understand exactly why that's happening. Which is kind of strange, but... And you might notice in this part that there isn't as much background noise in terms of fan noise and stuff like that, which is pretty good because obviously I've just changed the fan on my computer, believe it or not. And this one spins a lot slower and it's a lot quieter and it actually cools the laptop a lot more. So that's actually pretty good. I just need to get a new trackpad for it because obviously the trackpad I'm using now is dead. But I suppose I can just use an external mouse. But anyway, this one here hopefully should go pretty well. I mean... Here we go, Spyro Circuit. Bonus track, I mean. This introduction just looks so good. I'm not going to show it in the next two ones, I don't think, because obviously I've showed it twice now, but... Anyway, here we go with Hunter. A balanced character, which should, in theory, be a lot better. I mean, obviously not as good as a speed or acceleration character, but still much better than, than uh, turning class. And I've already completed this, and wow, I missed the C letter already. Like a right dog. <laughs> I'm a funny dog. No, no, that's that's just yeah. Okay. Concentration. This this R was the hardest to get, but I managed to get it first time this time, so I can't really complain. <laughs> and as you can probably hear with the music, it's from Mushroom Speedway, from Spyro Year of the Dragon, which. It's quite a good soundtrack I've always thought anyway, so I'm kind of, it actually really does suit this track. I was kind of wondering what the track would be. I wonder what this would sound like with, let's say, the Pal High Cave soundtrack. You know, I might actually mute the soundtrack and edit that in, just to see what it'll sound like. You'll have to let me know. I mean, I could do that for the Oxide Race. That'd be pretty cool. And there we go. We've got all the CTR letters already, so at least that's the hard part done. So all I've got to do now is just push on and win the race, because... And I should be able to beat Oxide first time on this track, because I have practiced it a lot. And of course we're going to do Relic Race next. In fact, I might try a series of, uh, of Spyro soundtracks in the next part. Uh, you know, when they do the Oxide Challenge. I'm not going to do it in Platinum Relic because it's just going to take a long time to edit and stuff like that. But, obviously, in this part, it should go pretty well. I mean, this part's going to require some editing, like I've just said. <laughs> but it's alright because I've got quite a lot of time tonight. And, of course, I've got uh, it's Spyro and Crash's birthday today. 22 years, I believe. Uh, well, it's actually, I think it's 21 for Spyro and it's... 23 for Crash, because Spyro the Dragon came out in 1998, if I'm not mistaken. So, obviously tonight, there's going to be a live stream over on Spyro Jonathan's channel, which obviously is probably gone by the time I've uploaded this, but you should be able to watch the archive on his channel as well. So, there you go. That's two shout-outs to two awesome friends, which I love to do, by the way. And there we go. We managed to get the CTR challenge all done and dusted. So, yeah, this is actually going to plan tonight. <laughs> I am not complaining. So here we go, we've got a uh, 48%. And I hope my voice sounds alright because my uh, I've got my phone charging while I'm recording, which I'm not exactly sure if that's going to interfere with the sound. I mean, the cable does sort of like go across the microphone a bit, but hopefully it should sound quite good. So anyway, here we go with the Relic Race now, so wish me luck on that one. And of course, for this one, we are going to go for... 
Spyro, which I've been waiting to do for a long time, which is of course, Advanced. So of course we've got all the full, full speed, which is what you need, so that's perfect. So anyway, what we're going to do now is we go for Bone Stock Spyro Mobile. Well, I'm going to put Livery on, of course, because obviously it makes no sense not to. And we're going to go for the Purple Gem Colour. Oh yes, right, that looks really good. And I think I'm going to put Red Gem on this because it... I don't know, I mean, maybe green, I don't know, but anyway. Here we go. Relic Race. I don't exactly know exactly how this is going to go, but all I can really do is try. I'll just check my recording still going because this has been known to mess up, which is really, really makes me sad. I mean, obviously it's happened before. Recording has stopped recording halfway through. And wow, I don't know if you can hear that, but there is a plane going right over my house. Because, as I've said before in previous parts of my Let's Play, part three I remember because it was Glacier Park. I live right behind an airport, or adjacent to an airport. And there's a train line as well, so... <laughs> Obviously, there's going to be a lot of noise, but anyway, here we go, Spyro Circuit, wish me luck. Now, I don't exactly know how this is going to go, because I have done, I'm recording this, so, and wow, we got perfect start, so I'm not complaining about that. It's just these crates here, that make me a bit nervous, really, but, uh, I got one. And wow, I missed a crate right there, but... I think there might actually be time to go back for it, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not too sure what the Platinum Relic time requirement is for this stage, but... Oh, 1 minute and 13 seconds, because obviously I have done a Relic race before, so that must have been for one of the Nitro skill points, if I'm not mistaken. And wow, I missed a crate there already, so... Oh, no, no, no. Right, you know what, I'm going to restart that, because that was a pretty bad start. <laughs> and you know, if I'm off to a bad start, I might as well restart the whole thing while I'm at it. I mean, it's pretty simple to do, so. And wow, I messed up my perfect boost, but I mean, thinking about it, that's nothing. That was nothing. Same as uh, Isabella says, and wow, my Dual Shock 4 battery controller level is low, which... It's not a good thing at all, and I thought I was not going to get that then. Hopefully my controller will last out this part. Here we go, just these speed, the speed ramps here. At least I got most of the crates, so I mean I can get them in the next lap, so. That's uh, pretty good there. And I can hear noises, I don't know what's going on, but I'm not gonna let this distract me from doing my let's play. And while you can actually see the track from down there as well, I did not notice that before. But wow, this track is literally the best thing that's happened to this game so far. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I mean it's beautiful for one thing. And wow, I messed this up totally, but at least I've got all these crates out of the way now so we can actually go the quick away on the next lap. If I can get this crate here, yes, right, that's pretty much all the hard parts done. All I've really got to do is just do this jump section in here. And wow, I'm doing really bad at missing crates today, but not that it really matters a lot, I suppose, but I mean, I could get them two on the next lap, no problem, but at this rate, it looks like I'm doing quite well for time anyway, so it just looks like I'm going to have to sort of like approach them at an awkward angle in order to get all the crates, which you really need to do in order to get the platinum time. And I don't think there's any crates in here, so that's at least one good thing. Nice. And I thought I was going to jump over that. That would be sad. That would be horrific. That would be awful, in fact. Can I jump over here? Yes. Now, that always makes me nervous. I mean, it would be cool if you could at least drive over that section here. And what the heck? Whoa. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. That's... That was shocking. Oh no, 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 no,
we've been recording for quite a while so now so I mean we've got plenty of time really if you come to think of it and I mean there's no rush to make this part short But so long as I get this part done here like I just have, that's all that really matters I suppose because I mean, you just want to get everything as perfect as you can. You know, get the perfect aim on everything. There we go, nice. So here we go, just through here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now, I don't know why I'm singing this, this song has got nothing to do with this track or the <laughs> Spyro and Friends Grand Prix or the game in general so I'm probably going to get copyrighted for singing that song which you know in YouTube they probably would I used to have this teacher in school that wouldn't allow me to sing in class because he claimed that it was breaking copyright obviously that was not the real reason why he wouldn't let you sing I mean obviously he should not be singing in a class anyway but I suppose it is a good enough reason <laughs> if we, uh, for the students but I always thought that were kind of funny when I was at school. Not that you want to hear me sing because uh, I've never I've never tried it, but I really don't want to try it. I mean, and wow, I missed that three second crate. That three second crate is a bit of a bugger. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, nice oh yes right that's good now that's the hard parts all done and out of the way so all I've really got to do now is yes right this is going a lot better I think this is definitely going to be a platinum run I know that one second crates there so I will not remember that and look at the sheep around the track and all the, fro all the frozen dragon statues I'd, I'd never actually noticed that but then again I've been playing really competitively on this track online so I mean this is more of an analysis video Oh, speak of the word analysis, that was kind of funny because in my school as well, we had this system on the computers where you typed in inappropriate words. It used to flag up and it used to uh, give you a warning and it used to go straight to the principal, right? And you were typing analysis, but you typed it slowly and you just typed anal or you just <laughs> hit accidentally hit the space bar in the middle of the word, so it said anal. And then basically, you got in trouble, so... That was something that you never wanted to do, was accidentally type analysis slowly or hit the space bar. But anyway, here we go. Yes, right, look at that. I actually managed to beat the track. Oh, I knocked the microphone. I'm really sorry about that. But <laughs> anyway, I actually managed to beat this uh, time without even needing the bonus. So that's my quickest time yet. Obviously, I used Big Norm, which is Orc Big Norm, which I'll show you in a minute, which I'll show you that pretty soon. So here we go, 48 Wumper Coins, which I'm going to need Wumper Coins, so I'm going to have to farm some of those later on, because obviously I need to get Wumper Coins in order to buy everything in this Grand Prix, which hopefully I should be able to do, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to buy everything because I am away on vacation some of the time, but I mean, all you can really do if you come to think of it is do your best. So anyway, here we go now with the time trial, of which we are going to turn off the music, because I'm going to try and remix the music into it. So anyway, here we go with the uh, time trial Spyro circuit, which we still haven't done Oxide yet. And as you can probably see, I've nearly beat Oxide anyway, so it's about four seconds. I don't know if I can go any faster. But anyway, let's confirm that. And we're going to go for characters. We're going to keep Spyro. But I think we're going to go for Dark Spyro. I mean, why not kiss it all out? And of course, as for paint jobs, I think I'm going to go for that uh, red gem again. Wow, that looks really cool. And as for stickers, I'm going to put red on because, I mean, why not go all red? And as for wheels, I think I'm going to, going to go for the fire element. So, that's pretty cool there. So anyway, here we go with that. So I don't exactly know how well this is going to go because, obviously, I haven't beaten uh, Oxide's time yet, but... All I can really do is try my best, so wish me luck. But I'm more used to this track and I'm more used to doing speed characters, so that's at least one thing that's sort of helping me out. So anyway, here we go. Spyro Circuit with custom soundtracks. And 
And don't miss out the perfect start already, but I mean, I already have. Just to see what soundtracks would have sort of fit this track. And wow, I'm already going a lot slower than, that, than nitrous oxide. And wow, that was messed up, so I'm going to have to restart that, but that was pretty bad. <laughs> now, this is going to be pretty awkward because, I mean, I've obviously got to edit the soundtracks in. So long as I get a good boost, that's all that really matters, I suppose. You've sort of like got to keep the momentum going. And wow, I slowed right down. And I didn't make it again. What the hell? Right, I'm doing really bad. Maybe I should have practiced a lot more before recording this part, which is something I really should be doing. I mean, obviously the last part I did, Prehistoric Playground, came to about 40 minutes, which is pretty bad when you come to think of it. Nice. So at least that's that done. But I don't know if I think I'm going to be able to keep up with uh, Nitrous Oxide because he is seem to be going really fast. But I suppose as long as you keep the boost and the momentum going, that's all you really need to do. But I am taking all the corners on the outside, so that obviously is not very doing a lot of good. But this just proves where speed class really does come in. Because, I mean, turn isn't really super important. Come to think of it, I mean... And wow, I don't want to be hitting tornadoes and stuff. Right, I think I've still got a chance at this. And no, I haven't, so I'm going to have to restart again. Obviously, I've just got to keep the boost going. At least he hasn't passed me yet, which is going to. I don't understand how he does that faster. That's where I really want to know. And no, I messed up again. I mean, what are you meant to do? How are you meant to like go faster at this? I mean, obviously beating Oxide's time is not going to be super easy on this track. This is going pretty well. I know I'm still behind Nitrous Oxide, but I don't understand how it's so fast. I wonder if Acceleration Class might be better. I don't know, but I like Spyro for Speed Class on this track, because that's what I'm more used to. Because maybe it can handle the turns a little bit better. But at this point, I do start catching up, and wow, I keep hitting them whirlwinds. That's the main problem. I mean, hitting the whirlwinds is what's slowing me down a lot. I'm not going to lie, but... Here we go again, so... Now, I like some of his script, his little lines on this. I mean, like that, wow, supercharged. Maybe you can beat me if you stop dragging your feet. I mean... I mean, pretty much no complaints about this Grand Prix at all. I mean, I wanted to see Alora, Bianca and Ripto and the Sorceress, but I mean, you never know. I'm hoping that they'll do future Grand Prix on this in the future. I mean, obviously I know one or two people who don't. So if you're watching this, Ryan, Prime Artist, um, really, honestly, we need to have more of these Grand Prix. I know that it's a crash racing game, not a Spyro team racing, but really, is it really an issue? I mean, come to think of it, I mean, it doesn't bother me at all. I mean. Why not add all the characters they want? And wow, I actually managed to miss that, which I did not expect to be able to do at all. I'm actually catching up pretty well, I mean, I did not think I'd be able to do that. Seriously, this game is like one of the best racing games that's ever come out. I mean, there's very few other racing games that I actually like. I mean, kart races anyway, I mean. And wow, I've slowed right down, which is what I really did not want to do. But hopefully, Nitrous Oxide will slow down as well, because that will give me a bit of a chance to catch it. But then again, I can't really see him. Oh, yes, he's there. I don't think I'm going to catch him up, unfortunately. I mean, I don't understand how he can go any faster. I mean, I'm pushing on as hard as I can. I mean...
Can I beat him this time? I don't think I can. No. Oh, no, no. This is going to be good. And wow, I lost again. So, obviously, I did manage to beat him this time. But, you know what? I'm going to try again. I mean, why not go in for another try? I mean, obviously, I've got used to the track now. And what all the patterns are with the whirlwinds and stuff like that. From all the tornadoes from the wizards. So... Maybe if I go around that side instead of doing the jump. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that in future. Now, that is a lot quicker. I did not expect that. Right, that has given me new strategy for online. Yes, definitely. I'm going to go around to the right, left or right hand side now. That's the way to go. And wow, I've already got a big lead. So, I've actually figured out the strategy. But he starts beating me on this corner. I don't understand exactly how that happens. Maybe I'm taking it a bit wide. I don't know. I mean, I'm not really a pro CTR player, even though I have beaten all of the nitrous oxide ghosts on the Crash Team Racing and CTR tracks, as well as the bonus tracks. And wow, that plane is really loud and really low. So I really do apologize if that is intruding the video too much. But And wow, I've already got a good lead. So that's the trick to go around the side, not do that jump in the middle of the dark hollow section. So, I mean, obviously this part has gone for a bit low, but I put the win in a time or attempt in the video uh, description. I might do, I might not. I mean, obviously you can tell when the things are, I don't understand if I should really stop doing that or not, because I mean, to be honest, I don't need if I, if I know I need to timestamp videos anymore. I mean, I've timestamped quite a lot, but do I really need to keep doing it? Yes, right. This time I'm going to beat him, so that's the trick. So remember, guys, in future, go around the left or right side in that dark hollow section. Don't do a jump ramp because that is a lot slower. So I'm definitely going to beat him this time. I mean. It'd be stupid if I didn't. I mean, I don't know why I'm saying that, because I'm probably just going to jinx myself, so. Here we go. Can I do it? Yes! That's it. Nitrous Oxide time beat. And I got that excited. I actually hit the left L left trigger, which changed my camera. So here we go. That was... <laughs> Nitrous Oxide beating. Now, I don't know why this is, but sometimes there's a glitch where you get like... Uh, you have beaten all of my times. That happens every time you beat a Grand Prix. I mean, that's that happens with N Trophy. It hasn't happened with Nitrous Oxide yet, but, but that's weird. I mean, I don't understand why it happens with one character, but not the other. But, oh, I just thought I'd show you one more thing real quick. And that is another character that I use. I actually use Big Norm and go for Orc Big Norm. I mean, why not? I mean, it, it looks like Nasty Norc. In fact, it effectively is Nasty Norc, but... It's just maybe a different skin character, but it's advanced, so that's obviously a lot better than doing, obviously, Nasty Nork, who's beginner. I mean, why'd you use beginner like Krunk's beginner? I mean, I'm so glad that they make Spyro advanced. I'd been happy with acceleration, but obviously I'm happy with advanced. But yeah, uh, I think that wraps up this part, everyone. So, of course, thank you so much for watching, uh, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed watching this part and of course very soon I will be starting new Let's Plays which will be of Crash Team Racing Night, not Crash, no, uh, Crash Bandicoot Warped in Ensign Trilogy and Spyro 3 Year of a Dragon in Reignited which hopefully should be coming to my channel very soon. So of course everyone, thank you so much for watching this part once again. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all in my next part which will be the next grand prix or even my new let's plays we'll find out soon but other than that take care everybody and goodbye for now peace out